Welcome back to another installation in my How to Make iOS Apps videos. And today we're going to be covering another app template video. Now my last app template video, we took a quick look at what the My App Templates apps actually looked like, how they ran, and how easy they are to get going at first. And today we're going to be looking at how to implement some features, and I'm going to go really quick just to show you how easy it is to add things to these. Before we even get started, I am going to mention that there is still a special running on the myapptemplates.com website. If you want to get started using these templates and you've checked out my last video, uh, you can actually get the seven templates for the price of one deal. Um, like I said, I'm not sure how long that's going to be lasting, but as of right now, it is still going, so that's a pretty good deal and you can get going right away. Even better is if you have the templates, you can follow along with these tutorials and actually get experience adding features right off the bat. So today I'm going to be modifying the social share and run sport apps to do some simple things but really show you the depth of these templates. So the way I'm going to structure these videos is basically two videos. The first video is going to take a look at modifying the social share app and the second video will be looking at the run sport app. So here we are in Xcode and when you first open the app that is included, the sample app, you'll get something that looks like this. And so I'm going to explain here real quick. This is the social share app when you open it up here and we've got a profile looking guy with some posts and we've also got all these other tabs that I kind of went over through the last video but the one I'm going to focus on is this new post tab now I've cleared it out it comes with originally a little picture and some text and a couple of buttons uh, I've taken all that stuff out because we're not going to need it for this tutorial and it's pretty easy to do so I won't cover that but what we're going to be doing today is making a quick tweet button. So when you click this middle guy here, it'll open up a tweet screen and you can make a tweet and share all of the great things you have to say with the world. So here we are back in Xcode. We've got our social share app. And right off the bat, the first thing that I'm going to do is add the integrated Twitter framework into our project because we won't get very far without it. So if we want to do anything that has to do with making tweets and later refreshing timelines and downloading data and stuff like that, we're going to need to hook into the Twitter framework. And so we'll add that right now, as I just said. So to add a new framework to a project, you click on the top level here, click our targets in this build phases section. We add the plus under link binary with items and we'll search Twitter. Twitter.framework. So that's added, and just for prettiness sake, I like to drag it into the frameworks folder. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to modify our new share view controller. The reason being for that is if we want to add functionality to that tab, that's the view controller that we're going to be hooking into and changing. And to do that, we're going to go into social share, classes, views, post new, and this post new viewcontroller.xib. And we get this. As I said, I've kind of already cleared it out a little bit. The first thing we're going to add is a button. Now it might be tempting to add a button from the right hand side here, but this the cool thing about these templates are they already have some good looking features and so we're going to use something that's already been built for us. Like I was saying, really the great benefit to these templates is that if you want the design that's already really well thought out and really well uh, executed. These are amazing. If we wanted to style our own buttons to look nice, it would take us a long time and a lot of tweaking. And by using the template, which already has the buttons and sliders and windows and pre-done layout done for us, it saves tons of time. It keeps things really easy and you can always learn how to modify a lot of the graphics changes and layouts later. So it's really a win-win uh, in terms of a lot of different things. To get to the pre-built features, we're going to go to the classes, views, elements, and elements view controller.xib. So here we are, here's a button. I'm just going to command C to copy it and command V to paste it in. Center it nicely and I'm going to say new tweet. It's worth noting that there isn't really a whole lot of thought that I've put into this quick tweet window layout. That's just because I'm showing you how easy it is to work with these templates and how much time they save by being able to hook into them 
rather than starting something completely from scratch. Next I'm going to add a little text view and we'll just add this and type in something to kind of explain how our app works. So I've typed in a little bit uh, of a preamble here just to kind of explain how you use this. So it just says make sure you're logged into the Twitter from the settings app and you've given it permission to access your Twitter account, which is important because otherwise it won't let you tweet. So now I'm going to go to the Bowtie Editor. I don't know what it's really called. And what I'm going to do here is connect my button to an action and that way we can relate what's happening on our interface to what we decide to do in code in a little bit. And this brings me to the next benefit is that since a lot of these windows are already laid out and a lot of the buttons are in place, it makes it really easy to just link the buttons to an IB action and get programming some features in right away. So it saves you the time of having to place a lot of the things, really, you know, think through your design, uh, go through the whole process of making sure everything's spaced, things like that. And we're going to give this button an action. So I'm going to control drag, choose IB action, and we'll name it Compose New Tweet. Links it up there, that looks nice. And now we're going to visit the implementation file or the post new view controller.m file. So this file is basically the file that holds all of the code that controls our application. So in the .m files, you basically have all of your functionality. And so the design of the app and kind of the visual look is done in Interface Builder, while all of the actual um, bells and whistles are implemented in this file. If you come all the way to the bottom here, you'll see our compose new, tr new tweet method and it doesn't have anything in there yet, so we need to fill that up. I use the quick tweet feature of the Twitter API a lot, and so I actually have a pre-saved block of code that I use, and so I'm going to copy that over from Sublime Text, but I'll explain it real quickly. The other thing about this is I will also include this code uh, in my video description so that you can download it. Don't worry, I wouldn't leave you guys hanging. This is called Compose Share. It's a pretty simple function that I'll go through here real quick. So in the Twitter API, they've defined a Compose View Controller. It's just like a regular subclass of a View Controller, nothing too fancy. Create one of those guys. Then this is an optional section. You can set a initial image, URL, and text. It's got a little bit of text there that we'll see in a minute. You then show the controller. So it just presents a modal view, which means it slides over the previous screen. It looks nice. Then we have a dialog. So this tells you whether or not you sent your tweet or you canceled your tweet. And lastly, we show this alert view to actually demonstrate whether it went through and we dismiss our controller so it slides off the screen. Now that we've created this method of compose share, I'm just gonna add that in to our IB action, which happens when we click our button. So we'll do self compose share. And I'm actually going to add this compose share into our view did load as well. And the reason for that is so that when we open the new share tab, it'll automatically post a tweet for us. Take a look and see how this looks here. Navigate to the tab and the new tweet slides up. So it's worth noting that if this is the first time that you run this, it'll ask, actually ask for access to your Twitter accounts. And if you don't have any filled in, you'll need to go to the settings in either the iPhone simulator or on your real phone and make sure that you have Twitter information filled in there, otherwise it won't work. So this is a test tweet, uh, completing a template or a tutorial by the real Jake Greco. That's my Twitter handle. I'm going to cancel it because I've already tweeted it like three times. And there's our little info screen and our new tweet button also works to do the same thing. So it's pretty cool. Just showing how easy it is to add features to these templates and how to fill them in. Obviously you could make this look a lot prettier, but that's not really a, a huge priority when I'm just showing the quick and dirty, this is how you add a feature thing. This is mostly to demonstrate how easy it is to add new functionalities. Like I was talking about earlier, this template just saves tons of time. Really, if we had tried to implement this same feature starting cold on an app, we would be 20 minutes into a tutorial already and we wouldn't have not even broke the surface. It's really impressive 
how quick you can get going, and honestly, this still looks pretty nice. Uh, I put very minimal UI design effort into doing this feature, yet it actually looks pretty good. Um, all of my bare bones apps that I just kind of start out with and really implement a feature before a look uh, take a long time and they look pretty shabby uh, you guys will know that from my previous tutorials and this is a totally different animal this template allows for building features that also really look good already I mean and that is the whole purpose of these is that you can save the time of the design and I really can't just say enough about how true that really is so now we're going to switch gears and take a look at the Run Sport app where I'm going to implement a quick timer.